Okay, I have this absolutely huge box here. I'm going to put it down. It is from Coach. There are three items inside and I'm about to unbox it for you. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing is that you get to see my community posts where I post deals, discount codes, rare items or related to these things we love. So let's get started. I'm gonna get out my trusty little box cutter here and there's no way that I can cut this open on camera because the box just is too big. So I'm gonna do it over here and I don't even know what the top or the bottom is. Just gonna go for it. Here to have sent me a box of air paper. I was going to try to wear this as a scarf, but it didn't quite work. We're gonna start with the two small items and then we will open the big item. And one of the small items, I just remembered there's something I need from my closet. Please hold. And through the magic of YouTube, I have returned. We're gonna open this one first. I purchased this item for someone else but I also purchased it because I wanted to see this in person and see what size it is. And it's so cute. Look at this little thing. It's the mini boxy cosmetic. It's in orange, as you can tell, and it has gold hardware. And since I'm giving it to someone else, I won't take the little pieces off, but it has a leather tab there and there and a metal zipper pull. And what I went to get from my closet was the regular boxy cosmetic. Just so you can see the difference between them. And let me measure them really quickly for you. All right, this is seven inches by four inches high by three inches deep. This mini one I'm in love with, except orange isn't my color, but someone else I know will like it. And this little guy is four and a half inches by three inches high by two inches deep. So the reason that I got this one uh, to see what size it is, is they don't have these on the, oh, by the way, all these are from the Coach Outlet. I want to specify that and they are all outlet pieces and they're all new outlet pieces so these should still be available on the website hopefully when you see this video but let me show you the inside of this they don't offer the mini boxy cosmetics super often it comes up sometimes and they do it in different prints and different colors and i wanted to see one in person to see if i wanted to get one so this is one big open compartment, but it also has a little pocket in the back there that looks like it would fit a card. Let me check. Here's a business card that'll do. It fits, but it was a little difficult to get that in there because you have to get around the little corners of the zipper. So I probably would not keep cards in there that you'd want to get in and out often, but that's really cute. I like that piece a lot. When they come out with one that has a print or a color that I want, I will definitely get it for myself. There's a ton you could fit in this too. It's really cute. And I love that it has the metal coach and it's not just stamped in there. Very nice. All right, the next two pieces are for me. Next up is this one. The Coach Outlet recently released a denim line and as you can tell there, I really like denim, especially for spring summer. So they released, they call this the coin pouch and it's quilted in this vertical quilting. It goes all the way around the front and back. It also has the gold metal on it, and it has, looks like a leather metal pull, but I'm gonna open it up and see if I like it before I take that off. Ooh, look at that. It's stuffed with all kinds of things. Let me take all that out so we can really see what's going on here. Oh, there's a lot going on. This is a little fancier than I thought it would be. Now on the Coach website, they have the same piece in a black leather and I've thought about getting it a few times, just never have. And yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this. So I just took all the stuff out. It does have a leather zipper pull there and it almost looks black, but I'm gonna guess that that's a navy. Oh, no, it's, if it's navy, it's really dark. So it has two large gusseted compartments there with this divider in the center. And then on each side it has a card slot. So I need to go get an actual card and put in here. Please hold again. All right, I got my YSL card holder that I got from Yota. And I'll take one of my store cards here. Just make sure that fits really well. Put another store card in the other slot. Yeah, that fits very easily. 
in those card slots there. Now another thing I want to check out is how easily cards would fit in the coin slot, the gusseted part. That not so much. I got my Chanel card holder here and cards fit pretty easily there. It's also a big gusseted compartment but this leather is very soft and malleable so it just kind of moves out of the way if cards need it to. This this isn't hard and it's, is it leather? I'm not sure that that's leather. It feels like it's, I don't know if you can see it, it feels like it's fabric on this side and then leather or pleather on the outside. Interesting. And it's still soft, but it's not quite as malleable as that. And as you can see with a card in it, it goes right up to those edges. So you could put a card like there or there or there. Does that make sense? Like you could put a card right up against the divider on either side or right up against the outer wall on either side, or you could put one diagonal, but you can't really put like a stack of cards in there. Or could you? Let me get a stack of cards and try just to be sure. Okay. Here's the stack that I had in my Chanel wallet. Yeah. I don't think it's designed for that. I think it's designed to have a card on either side and then coins or cash in the center. But you could put some cards in there and it zips up at least on one side. I don't know how expandable it could be. You could do it, you just can't really flip through these. They're kind of just stuck where they are. I think it's a super cute piece. I think it'll look really good with my Rebecca Minkoff denim Edie bag. And I think if I'm just going out and I need my debit card, my ID, I could do one, two, three, four, five, six. It would easily hold six cards. And then you could still put cash folded up on one side and coins on the other. That could work really well. And I think, see this piece and the little boxy cosmetic, I think they were both under $30. Maximum they would be $30. So I think it's totally worth it for that. Okay, now along those lines, let's get to the big reveal. And that is a giant handbag. Now I'll be honest, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to keep this piece. There's some things that I love about it, but there are some things, since I've never seen it in person, there are two things that I am a little concerned about. So let me just get it mostly unwrapped here and then I'll tell you what those concerns are. Okay, you ready? That's pretty. So this is the 40 centimeter. I forget what this was called exactly. On the regular Coach Boutique website, they call these field totes but it was named something else. I'll have to look that up. I've wanted something in denim for a while. They had one that was a coach boutique item, but I don't know that it was ever even on the US website because it's sort of, it's like a flash in the pan. As far as I've ever known it, it's always been sold out. You could find a couple of them on um, like eBay, but they're way overpriced and they have a red strap that goes with it. I've never really been a fan of the CC print, but the denim sold me. And then it also has this navy leather on the bottom and it has feet. Here's one of the things I wasn't sure about is the white trim because the denim will easily go with my wardrobe. I wear jeans every day. That's pretty much all I wear in terms of pants, you know, but I don't wear a lot of light colors. So I'm not sure that the white trim will really go. And I also wasn't sure if it was white or if it was like an off-white cream. It looks to be pretty white. Here's the other thing that I wasn't sure about and still am not because I haven't really looked at it yet. But watch this. Okay, so what is happening here? For some reason, they took this gorgeous bag that would have been absolutely beautiful, just like this, except I wish they had done navy trim, and they put a giant circle on it in a contrasting color. Those are the two things that I'm a little, I don't know about, and I'm not gonna be able to decide in this video, I can tell you that either. I'm gonna have to like go stand in front of a mirror and hold different tops up in front of me and see if this goes with my wardrobe and, at school, I wear sweaters on top of my tops because it's chilly in my classroom often. I don't even have a, like a white or off white. It is, this looks a little um, premier. It's not like a bright white. I don't know. It might not be that bad. And especially since it's just on one side, I can just carry it like this. I don't know. I really love the, uh, okay, look, the 40 centimeter field totes, these real boxy totes. They have been, ever since I got that one, which is from the Coach Boutique, that's like all I carry. It's the perfect work bag and with COVID 
and teaching and having to take everything, all my technology and all kinds of stuff back and forth every single day in case we're suddenly told, oh, you're gonna be working from home again. Well, then I need everything at home and then I have to take it back to work. It's a lot to carry back and forth every day. So I've been using these giant totes and I love them so much. I have, I have three or four of them at this point in different styles and I thought it would be nice to add a denim one. So I'm gonna play with this and see what I think. But let me show you a few details of it. Uh, this is an uncoated canvas jacquard, and it is a dark denim. It's what I like. Uh, it's, it's a very pretty print. I am gonna unwrap the handles because those are also white leather, so I'm gonna need to be able to see that well in order to make my decision. All right, so there's what the straps look like. Those are also the white leather. And something interesting about them is that they fold inside the bag. And that's a difference between this bag and this one from the boutique, where you can see that that's attached on the outside there, so those do not fold in. I really like that about this outlet bag, because just like with the boutique bag, it has these rings on the sides, and it comes with a big strap. So you have a shoulder strap for it, and then you can just tuck away the little handles on the inside. I think that looks really nice. I guess you'd want to put the little coach tag inside too. The strap is a little weird because it has white leather accents, but the strap itself is black and it's like one of those seatbelt straps, but it's not a nylon. It's like a cotton, some kind of uh, fabric-y thing that's not coated. So it'd be super comfortable and it is adjustable. And let me show you the inside of the bag. This thing is so big, I feel like I'm hidden behind it back here. So there is the inside. It does have a few pockets. Let me figure those out and point them out to you. So it's lined in fabric. It has some leather trim around the top on all four sides. It's thicker on the sides with the straps where those are attached. This back wall here has this one big, zippered compartments quite large. My boutique bag doesn't have any pockets inside, but it did come with, just like the Neverfull comes with one of those flat pouches, it came with a pouch like that. This doesn't come with a pouch. And then it has two pockets there, and then a pen pocket right there. Oh, and that was on the front of the bag, not the back. The other side, surprisingly to me, it has that little coach tag that comes in all coach bags, and then it has another giant zipper pocket which is pretty cool and it also has a metal magnetic closure snap closure right here and there's black glazing around the handles i have to say if i put it over here i can see it better with my lights not blinding me so much that's not bothering me so much i i really like this bag i do wish that both sides were plain like that i'd rather not have that giant circle however it's not that bad i feel like i could live with that oh and i was talking about the sweaters earlier so i was thinking that even though i wear dark clothing i wear dark colors that i could get a white or off-white sweater and then that would tie in with this and then you know that's all it would take for this to work better with my wardrobe. I do really like it. I think it's a keeper and it's a really good price. The rocket bag behind me, if I remember correctly, was $450 and this one was just under 200, like 197 or so. Especially with all those pockets inside, that's really helpful. I have an organizer. I don't remember where I got it. It was sent to me a while back that is for this size bag. And if I can find the link for that, I will link it below. It's a little bit pricey. I should probably order another one or two instead of moving it around from bag to bag because it really helps in a bag like this to have an organizer. And the one that I have, it's in some bags, it just helps. This bag is pretty structured, like especially with that leather base, it stands up really well on its own. It doesn't collapse on itself. The bag behind me though, tends to collapse. So like if I put my hand on it and try to hold it just like that, see it just kind of falls, oops just kind of falls in on itself. That bag is very lightweight. This bag is heavier, but I wouldn't call it heavy. And one of the things I was wondering about this too, getting a field tote from the outlet versus the boutique is how's the quality gonna be? And first impressions, the quality is the same to me. 
uh, the one behind me from the boutique, the interior is like a micro suede and this has the fabric lining. The micro suede's pretty, but I think I actually prefer the fabric lining, especially in a bag like this. It's really nice. The quality's very good. Definitely worth $200. That bag was definitely worth the $450 that I paid for it. Yep, I think I have another new work bag. And I can use my little denim thingy in it. Thingy. Coin purse. Yep, that works. They also have, if you like the denim but you don't want this particular bag, they have one like this that's more narrow and it's probably the same height. And they also have several pouches. They had a few different bags that were in this quilted kind of quilted kind of denim. So I will link that denim line below. I was really excited when they released it. I wish that they had even more pieces in that line because it's very pretty. All right, well, I think I've kept you long enough and I think I've answered all my questions about this bag. So hopefully I've answered yours too. If you have any other questions, let me know and I'll get to it if I can. I've been swamped at work with the yearbook. That's why recently uh, there was a week when I didn't post a couple of videos. It's because I had no time at all. Uh, yearbook has just been all consuming. I will answer questions if I can. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Let me know what you think about these bags. I was hoping since a lot of people aren't shopping yet, um, if anybody was interested in this and the logo and had some of the same concerns that I had that this video would help you make a decision too. What else do I say at the end of videos? Thank you for watching. Hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.